Welcome to RP Hub. In this video, we'll see how we can create first program in RuboCore in detail. So when you will launch RuboCorp Lab, you will find it out the screen. Click on create new robot and enter the name of your robot. So demo test. I am entering the detail. Select the locations and template. You can keep always standard. You have three open templates which we can use this extended Python and standard. But right now I am using standard. Click on create and now it will create or load environment or lab for you and most important part if you have not yet subscribed this channel consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates now post will enter in the launcher screen you will find it out terminal python file terminal you can use it for the command line python file you can use it or importing any python script or writing script you can use it Robot file is here. Text file, you can write your text contained. Markdown file and so contextual file is used for your bot contains as well. In the left section, you will find a conda.yaml file and robot.yaml file, which is a supportive file used for writing code. Click on tasks.robot, double click on it, and you'll find out ID or writer. You can write the code here. These are the menu tabs. You can use it. Sessions are also available. You can find it out all the sessions details here. Inside the file section, you will find out all the file structure like addition. Uh, you can launch a new file. Even you can create a folder. Then you can upload file and refresh it. Here, there are different options like saving, creation of new uh, cell. So if you want to add new shells here, you can just click on this and new shells will be added. If you want to delete this, simply right click on this and delete cells. So when we are writing a code or the script, we have patterns to write it. So let me show you which all components we can use it. So once you'll write three star, you'll find it out all these sections which we can use it inside for RoboCore programming comments for commenting out any section which you are looking forward to remove it or unhide it from your program which is no more working inside your running code keywords are basically used for all your keyword activity settings inside this sections you can define your all the settings header related informations as well as path related information inside the task which is used for your running the activity. Test cases, you can define your test cases inside this and use it. For creation of variable, you can use these sections. So this is all about the sections. Um, definitely in the down the line of uh, further videos, we'll see how each and every section we can use it in RoboCore. You will find it out UI local text sections where you can locate your UI positions and if don't know about any keywords just simply write the keywords let's say if you want to write or find it out the keyword for password then simply write password here you will find it all these keywords related to the password which is very simple again now if i want to open any specific website simply i have to write because website is going to open inside my browser so I will import library here. So library, press six tabs or directly go to here, rpa.browser. Here, we will add all these keywords related to the browser. And if we want to add any uh, keywords, new sections inside the cell, we can add it. So let me add a keyword here. Now here I have to define for opening the browser. So I'm just writing open website. Is the random text we can use it any text according to your requirement? Then press four spaces one, two, three, four. 
now you can use keyword so for opening any website we have open open available so let me update this then we can see smart keyword options otherwise we can also see all these keywords related to the open so open available browser is the one keyword and open browser is the second keyword so we right now we are going to use open sorry open available browser and here after two spaces we are going to add website name now you can see here we have added the website name who's that i am going to use seam text uh, inside the task so that my process should be completed so open website now we are done save this command and run the code open website now it's not running let me see if this Save this and run the code. I'm just running this. Now you can see open website tab is available for me. Click on open website and here it's showing open available browser is not found. So six tabs here. One, two, three four five six save this run this command click on this and now we can see the website is open inside the browser so this is a how we can write a simple code in rubocorp hope you liked it if you really enjoyed this session consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates thank you for watching